Okay, really quick and simple tutorial for you. If you want to edit where your back home button goes to inside of your Surecart members dashboard, that's that button down here in the bottom left, you can update this by adding a simple function into your themes functions.php file. Let me show you how easy it is to do. You just need to go to appearance theme file editor. First, you need to make sure that you're using a child theme. You can look for another tutorial on how to do that, but for me, I'm using the Astra theme and creating a child theme is super easy. So with my child theme enabled, I'm going to go to appearance on the left-hand side and find theme file editor. Here, I'm going to select functions.php. I'm gonna go down to the bottom here and I'm going to paste in these two functions. We're going to be changing the back home URL and the store logo URL. And here in the function that we're adding, you can decide what page the user is going to go to rather than going back to the default or the root of the website that your Surecart customer dashboard is on. So prior to this update, the back home button would have sent them just to my marketingfunnels.live route, but now I'm going to send them to a specific members page. This can be helpful if you wanted to send people uh, to a completely separate website. I could send them, for example, from my circle community to manage their subscriptions inside of the dashboard. They push back home and that sends them back to the community rather than back into WordPress. Or you could send them back to your buddy boss community or whatever you're using this for. So with these functions added, I'll just hit update file, and now I'll go back to pages. I'll find my customer dashboard, click view. And now if I click back home, it's gonna take me to some random demo members page that I made here. And just to show that it works, I went ahead and added a logo. If I click on the logo, it's also going to take me right back to the little members page that I created. All right, that's it for this very quick tutorial on Shortcut. If you have requests for other tutorials, feel free to leave a comment down below.